Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs is a presentation of Kentucky Proud. Watch from beginning to end as a top chef turns a 10-year dream into a reality on the Louisville Riverfront. Tim Laird takes us to River House. Once an old boathouse, the River House is now Louisville's premier waterfront dining destination. It's an amazing transformation considering what this place looked like before. Our cameras were there along with a throng of local media when Chef John Veronese announced his plans to create River House. At that time, boats filled what would eventually become the dining room along with riverfront relics from the past. Okay. 1962 Chris Craft Catalog. Coming up, we'll show you everything they had to do to turn this into this. And we'll go into the kitchen with Chef John for the secrets to his New Orleans-style grilled oysters, salmon that's cooked on a bourbon stave, and the perfect pecan pie. Much more from Riverhouse coming up on Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs. Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs is a presentation of Kentucky Proud. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs. I'm Kevin Harned. This time on the show, not only are you getting the secrets from the top chefs from across the Commonwealth, but you're going to have a chance to see what it's like to see a restaurant come from the ground up. Chef John Veronese gave us exclusive access to watch as he took a decades-long dream from concept to completion. He wanted to turn an old boathouse on the Ohio River into a premier southern seafood restaurant with a contemporary lounge attached. When John announced his plan to build River House and Levy in the fall of 2015, the media turned out in droves. But the building was still full of boats. Work began immediately at a furious pace. In October, jackhammers were digging trenches for a whole new network of plumbing. Work crews shattered old glass to remove it. And electricians laid out a maze of wiring for lights, sound, and a gigantic state-of-the-art kitchen. By New Year's Eve, the building was taking shape with rock work on the patio and indoors, framing for the bar, banquettes, and a huge indoor water feature. And when springtime arrived in Kentucky, the River House opened its doors. The dining room is a one of a kind, offering expansive views of the mighty Ohio. And there are docks out back, so you can get here by land or by water. The kitchen lived up to its hope and expectations as well. And that's where we find my co-host, Tim Laird. All right, so I'm back in the kitchen here at uh, the River House with Chef John Veronese. And John, what a kitchen this is. You know, we actually designed the menu and then designed the kitchen around that. So we made sure that everything was set in the right place and we had the right, right equipment and wasn't over designed either. And of course, this serves two restaurants, right? Because not only uh, the River House, but also uh, the Levee out of all this area too as well. Yeah, we're actually in our prep kitchen right now. Uh, the River House cook lines on the other side of this wall. And actually, the, we have a separate kitchen for the Levee that's on the other end of the building that's attached. Everything you dreamt about and was in your mind now has come to fruition, and here you are. And now it's time to get Chef John's secrets to some of the house favorites at River House. We're going to show you how to shuck an oyster here. And it's a um, Chesapeake? Chesapeake Bay. The trick is, is using a towel, so the towel is kind of your protectant. Here, what we're trying to do is look at the back end of the oyster and slip the oyster knife in there. And you're not really pushing as much as that you're turning. So that right there just opened up the oyster. I'm gonna rotate it back the other way. I'm gonna bring my knife across the top of it and slide it back and forth. That's gonna release that abductor muscle there. And then back underneath, they release that. So fresh oyster is gonna hold a lot of the water content in there as the oyster um, is older aging in, in uh, the grocery store or wherever you're purchasing them, the liquid will start to dissipate. And there you have it, the secrets to shucking an oyster. I make a compound butter and we're going to stick some roasted garlic here in the mixer, some basil, fresh sage, a little bit of rosemary and parsley. So I'm just going to bound that up together, make a little chiffonade and then we want as a, a fine mince in the herbs, 
uh, we want the herb to be really distributed in the butter. And you can smell just all those herbs coming together. Yeah. I like this secret too. You put them all together and chop them once. Yes. So that way you're not chopping individually the herbs. I mean, this is a great secret to learn. Quick work out of uh, chopping up those herbs. I so. like that. You're rocking and we're rocking. the river's rolling. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to add our herbs to our mixer here. Our softened butter. Got to have butter to make herb compound <laughs> butter. So start off slow. Yeah, you want to start off slow and then work it up. Get it high. What we want to do is whip our butter. Then we got to let that be done. And then we're just going to put the butter in this plastic wrap and I'm going to form it. Pinch the ends here and then we just roll it. Wow. So you're going to take this and refrigerate it. It's going to harden up and then uh, you could use it for future use. So that's great. You can make this ahead of time if you're doing this at home, put it in the refrigerator, let it harden, then you just cut off whatever portion you need. Yes. Brilliant. It's great on steaks. It's good on oh, fish. Everything. You know, you can throw it in when you're sauteing with something oh. or some vegetables. It just Your adds that flavor season. so you're just there. Yes. I love it. And of course, the compound butter is perfect on grilled oysters, which you can also do under a broiler. We're going to generously place uh, the, our roasted garlic herb compound butter that we made earlier. And, and I'll tell you what, I love the way this stacks up. That is a nice generous portion, so that's going to taste really good. Yeah, we just keep it on our sheet tray here and we're going to pop it in our char broiler. We want to just roast it a little bit, melt that butter, I want to warm it up so you're going to have a a warm oyster, not a cold oyster. And could I do this at home on my broiler? You know, put the broiler. You do on the high. broiler. I do it at home. I do it on my outdoor outdoor grill and just set oh, the just oyster grill straight on there. And I shut the lid. So I see you've already uh, got your plate ready. What's on What's uh, on board here? A little seaweed. Well, we have seaweed. It comes packed in with our fresh lobsters all the time, and it happened to be great for this dish because it keeps the oysters from sliding around. What a great so idea! So it's a du double use there. It makes a nice plate presentation and now here's where it really gets good he takes a bundle of fresh herbs ties them up and then gets out a torch we're just gonna torch this on fire catch that rosemary and sage on fire there and we send this out through the dining room just like this and as you oh my god I can smell that all, I mean in advance so everybody that that walks by gets a little bit of that uh, Aromatic. Oh, ho, ho. this is the incense to the dining room. People know, and as actually the server carries it, it uh, the air actually blows on the uh, sachet and it helps it burn longer. Smell is exquisite. Oh. I've never smelled anything like this. It came out so even smoking. It's great. The herbs burning. It, it's just it's magnificent. It's amazing. Just take the whole thing. Slurp it down and enjoy all those good compound butters and all that wonderful oyster. Shucks. Delicious. That is great. <laughs> and if that looks good, wait until you see this. Salmon done Kentucky style, cooked on a bourbon barrel stave. And something for your sweet tooth. Coming up, a classic Kentucky dessert here at the River House. It's all next on Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs. Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs is a presentation of Kentucky Proud. Welcome back to Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs, where we've seen an old warehouse on Louisville's waterfront turned into one of the city's favorite restaurants. It's Chef John Veronese's River House, where they serve seafood with a southern flavor and hospitality. My co-host Tim Laird is in the kitchen with the chef to reveal more secrets. Tim? This is kind of a Kentucky twist to uh, salmon on a cedar plank, but you do it a little differently. Instead of cedar, he cooks the fish on a bourbon barrel stave. Instead of doing this cedar plank, we put the salmon on there, we're gonna use the same char broiler. And that char broiler is gonna heat that wood up enough and start to smolder and release that smoke and kind of smoke it as we're cooking it. So it's a, it's a hot smoke, it adds wonderful flavor to it. John will show us the secrets to the salmon coming up, but first, he makes a Kentucky-style ratatouille to go with it. I know a lot of people have seen the movie Ratatouille, but uh, you're going to actually show us how to make it, right? Yes. Uh, ratatouille is uh, traditionally Italian, and what it is is stewed uh, 
vegetables, zucchini, squash, and eggplant kind of what makes the ratatouille. My little southern twist is we're going to add some okra to it. Yeah, we're in a hot pan. We want to start off with some garlic, minced garlic in here. You want to lightly brown it, but you don't want to burn it. I have some mirepoix that we've already roasted. So mirepoix is the base in cooking. It is carrots, onions, and celery. So we have our squash and our zucchini, eggplant. Plus a bay leaf. And a bay leaf, yeah, it adds a little bit of flavor. And then that taste of Kentucky, the chopped okra goes in. Here I use diced uh, canned tomato that has a little bit of juice that kind of creates a sauce. And this all comes together very quickly. Yes, yeah, so you just need to kind of soften it up. You, you're looking at a couple minutes here. And then I take my uh, house-made marinara sauce. So we're just gonna let that simmer for a little bit and soften. While that simmers, Chef John whips up another element to his bourbon salmon dish, a lemon caper aioli. It's easy to do at home when you know the secrets. Right now we're gonna put together our lemon caper aioli. Aioli is pretty much a fancy way of making homemade mayonnaise. So we're starting off with egg yolks and lemon juice. And the lemon juice is the factor that actually makes the raw egg edible. So the acid in there is gonna Cook take care bit. of yeah. uh, uh, any bacterias. He'll blend those ingredients together with oil. And you just wanna create a thin stream Wow, just a little bit of time, I see that. It takes a little patience. We're gonna little capers. add our capers. Let them all kind of chop up in there. So that's an emulsification. And that's the consistency you're looking for. Yes. With that, it's time for the secrets to the bourbon stave salmon. I love that. So you've it's got great. this beautiful salmon, this oak stave that's already uh, been charcoaled and soaked with a lot of bourbon. Yes, and uh, this is kind of what the stave starts off like. We cut them into fours to make them smaller, and it's the perfect size for the salmon. Perfect. And you can do this at home on the grill, too. Uh, we're just going to take a little bit of food pan spray there just so the salmon doesn't stick, and just put it on our piece of wood, and season generously a little salt and pepper. And then we're going to take this back to our 1,500-degree charbroiler here. All right, it's gonna take about five minutes to cook in there. And we're gonna let this just kind of do its own little magic in a couple minutes here. That, that heat will start toasting that stave, burning it a little bit, oh. releasing some of that smoke flavor. And nice. it just adds a nice sweetness to it. You know, the bourbon uh, wood compared to the cedar plank is gonna, of course, have that little bit of bourbon in there. You got a little, a lot of flavor. Some residual sugar that's gonna burn off. And you gotta love that. again, that smoky flavor in there, it just makes a really great dish. And if you're gonna do this home, we could do it out on the grill outside. Again, uh, it's gonna take a little longer than the 1500 degrees uh, you got here, but you could actually do it right on your grill grate. Yeah, and I would definitely uh, keep uh, the lid on it once the wood catches fire a little bit to trap that smoke. So Look our salmon is ready over here. We're just gonna Beautiful. time for plating. Take our ratatouille and we're gonna use it as a base. We take some fingerling potatoes, we cut little medallions out of them, and we saute them with a little bit of balsamic and fresh dill. That's phenomenal. Oh, ratatouille's down, potatoes down now. All right, we're Star gonna top of our bourbon barrel plank salmon. And then oh. we're gonna finish it with our lemon caper aioli. Really delicious of the, the aioli that really goes well with the tomato. And then we just add a little color with our fresh pea tendrils. John, that is absolutely fabulous. It looks incredible. And I like the way you add a little Kentucky to the salmon. I'll tell you what, great seafood here, but also save room for dessert because they have some wonderful ones like the one John's going to show us now. What is this dish, John? Well, nothing's more southern than a pecan praline pie. So this I is like what it. we're going to put together homemade. He starts by melting down a pot full of brown sugar and butter with corn syrup. And then again, to be a little more southern, we have some sorghum. Beautiful. This is definitely a local sorghum. Just get this to all melt together. And we want this product to cool down a little bit, but we're going to add the rest of our ingredients here. So there goes the pecans. 
some cinnamon, Ooh. a little vanilla. And what's it being in Kentucky if we don't have bourbon? Got to have a little bourbon. Got to have bourbon. Love that. And then the little secret, a little cayenne pepper. So we're going to add a little bit of spice to our sweetness there. And we're just going to stir this together and kind of let it cool off for a little bit. Chef John whisks up seven whole eggs and then mixes them together with the butter and pecans very slowly so he doesn't scramble the eggs. We're going to make our pie crust. Just like everything else at River House, Chef John makes the crust from scratch using flour, brown sugar, butter, and a touch of salt. So what you see what I'm doing with my fingers is that I'm flaking the butter in there. And by doing that, as we're adding layers of butter, and this is what makes a flaky pie crust, and it also makes a tender pie crust. So that's the secret. You don't want you to don't want to overwork mixer. it. I mean, this is hands-on cooking, John. It is baked from scratch. He carefully adds a couple of tablespoons of ice cold water to keep the butter cool. That's another important secret. And we just want to kind of lightly roll this out to the shape we're looking for. We're rolling on the river and rolling on the dough. Yeah, you know the cute individual portion here. So we're just gonna put our dough in here. A little cast iron. And then we leave it kind of rustic. And just fill up our pie shell. And we're gonna put this in a 400 degree oven for about 12 minutes. Uh, it's really shallow, so it's gonna cook quickly. Okay. Okay. 12 minutes later, here it is. Absolutely perfect. We still want it a little bit soft when it's oh, baking right. because it's gonna be Nice and gooey when you eat it. So once it's cool, we're able to kind of pop this out of the cast iron. Perfect. We got this oh. great little pie here. And you just gotta have some whipped cream here. And then we're just gonna finish off some fresh berries. John, what a masterpiece. I'll tell you what, this is absolutely fabulous. And of course, uh, like I said, you have many desserts to choose from. You've got the raw bar all the cooked items, and of course, wonderful dessert. You're doing it all here. Well, thank you, and definitely gonna enjoy this. This is one of the house favorites here. And, and you can come by land or water because you have some wonderful docks out there. So however you get here, get here. It's the River House. <laughs> wow, if you haven't had a chance to make your way down to the Ohio River at River House, you should do so. You will enjoy it. We appreciate you watching Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs. For Tim Laird, I'm Kevin Harned. We'll see you next time when we take you out to eat into the kitchen and into the minds of some of the Commonwealth's best chefs right here on Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs. Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs is a presentation of Kentucky Proud.